Mas cabeça hey, yo, what the How's it going everyone, it's your boy G, here with a new video. And since we're so close to the release date of Tekken 8, I've been playing the demo like my life depending on it. And it gave me some joy I haven't felt since when I was doing the Tekken 8 characters video. I didn't think I would have a fat list of characters I would feel that can fit in the Tekken series. And since I like that video so much, and you should most definitely watch it if you haven't. But that being said, I want to do another video on this topic since we're about two weeks, give or take, to the game drops. Also, same rule applies. I won't be using the same franchise that the character is in, so watch the last two videos if you haven't already watched it so with that being said sit back relax it's time to talk about guest characters <laughs> holy shit is travis scott Holy shit, it's Travis Touchdown. <laughs> yes, for my first pick, I'm picking the number one perverted assassin. This walking case comes from the No More Heroes franchise, a franchise I grew to love during the pandemic era of my life. And when the games got pulled into the Switch, you best believe I got both of them. I haven't played the third game yet, but I still love this game. You should most definitely play if you haven't. But you're probably asking. What's this game about? Well, Travis is your typical otaku who joins the assassin ranks because of a lovely lady named Sylvia. While trying to get in her pants, she tells him to get to rank number one, then he could hit. And how does he climb these ranks and killing all these super high skilled assassins? Well, by taking them to Suplex City. By doing every type of wrestling throw known to man, even Perk Angle and Prime Taz wouldn't be able to keep up. Oh yeah, he also has a beam saver that runs on rechargeable AA batteries. And the only way you can charge them is to shake your remote like you're home alone. But yes, Travis would be a amazing fit for the Tekken games. And like I said, his last game did not come out too long ago, so it's not like he's a blast from the past. And with the many cosmetics that the game has in itself, I can see him be easily added into the Tekken. With the player customization, even the rival Strauss could be in is interesting. Some of the picks I'll have is Lily and Nina. They can fit into his pervy side and they look like Sylvia. So, you know, another rivalry I could see is one with Raven. It will probably be like the Raven rivalry with Yoshimitsu. And some extra stuff I would like to see in his gameplay is when he does a grab, I want to see the quick time of commands like in his game. And for a stage, I'll pick the motel that travels listen that would be my pick when i say power ranger who's the first to pop into your head Hell no. I'm talking about the OG, the true face of Power Ranger, that being the Green Ranger. And if you've seen the thumbnail, you should know this is the character I really want to see enter the Tekken games. And why wouldn't you want to see the Green Ranger from the original and apparently the worst series of all the Power Ranger series? The Green Ranger is the lost big brother of the rest of the team. When making his first appearance, he was the bad guy and was able to take down the whole team, but later switched sides and joined the good guys. And throughout the years, he would even become the White Ranger and be something of a legend in the universe itself. And you you might think the ranger wouldn't be able to stand a chance with the Tekken series with demons and robots and Pac-Man. Well, you're wrong. The rangers are super strong with the morphing grit that gives them 30 times all stats and abilities, making them able to tank some crazy stuff in the show. And the Green Ranger is a hand-to-hand -hand expo, and if that isn't enough, he also is a weapons expo. One thing I would love to see is the customizations that you could switch between a couple other Green Rangers from the series, or maybe his white ranger suit would be cool, and some other morphing suits. And it still hurts knowing that we lost the legend like Tommy and I think this would be a great way to pay respects to him by having him stop Kazuya in his evil and if you don't think the character like the Rangers wouldn't fit in a fighting game well there's already an all Power Rangers fighting game and it doesn't look that bad for what I'm looking at and for a stage I think the room was Zoran with Woodwolf and if you don't agree you can go more for yourself. Tekken is known for having a long list of baby girls, and while being some sexy fighters, there are also some badasses who can go toe to toe with the best of them when it comes to women in gaming. But who is more of a badass woman in gaming? That's right, the Tomb Raider herself, Laura Croft. And out of everyone on this list, Laura Croft seems to be the most likely. And here's why. You see, it seems like in the new game, one thing they're going to be tackling is the Mishima bloodline. And if that's the case, I wouldn't be surprised if there were going to be a returning ancient ogre, who himself has a lot to do with the Mishimas. And if that's the 
the case, seeing Lord Krav being a part of that and finding some artifacts with the Mishimas and Ancient Ogre would fit with her. And also, I think her fighting style would be very interesting to see. She could be a heavy weapons fighter, but if she, but if she needs to, she is known for jujitsu and other styles of fighting. I don't think there's ever been a fighter in the series that's been known to use a bow and arrow in the game, so that would be really cool to see, especially with hitting some combos with it. But here's another reason why I think that this could happen. You see, Tomb Raider series is owned by Square Enix. You know, the same people who already did a partnership with Tekken in the last game when they added Noctis from the Final Fantasy series. And looked how well that worked. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're already cooking something up with DLC. And for the stage, you can use any of the areas that you already explored with Laura throughout the game series. But I'm going to choose Atlantis. And for Rage Arch, she can literally do a mix between her twin guns or more shards and end it off with those fucking ham. Oh yeah, did I forgot to mention she can use it because she can? Now I wonder if they were at the new code in the game like they said back in. I mean, we're down to the last two spots and I'm feeling like a little break will help me. So who do you think they're gonna be? Well, we'll find that out after this. Look, I know what I said, I know the rules, but you don't know, I need to see this happen. It's criminal that these two games basically sharing the same universe only did a small crossover with only Yoshimitsu and Hiachi. That series being the Soul Calibur series, but no Soul Calibur character being in Tekken. In the last video, I said I would put Ivy, but another character I would love to see in the game is the main bad guy himself, and that's Nightmare. But to know him, you gotta know the real man's name, that being Siegfried. And when he got a hold of the cursed sword, he became this edgelord, and man, this would be a crazy collab. Imagine Naimo fighting against Demon Kazuya or Devil Jin with using his giant sword or combos. That would be incredible to witness. And for a bonus, they could add Siegfried as a skin swap so you could have two in the price of one. And like I said before, it's highly criminal that we haven't seen any Soul Calibur reps in Tekken. I wonder if there's a reason. If anyone knows, just let me know in the comments. But that being said, for rivals, I will say Claudio would be the best pick. Him being a man of God, seeing another demon roaming around the world will probably give him a heart attack. And if not, Hideyachi. Seeing his history with devils and soul caliber would be interesting. And for a stage, it's obvious it would be the Astro Chaos stage. I think it would be fitting if this is the only stage that does a ring out. A mechanic that the Soul series does, where if you knock out a character to the edge of the map, you can throw him out and get an automatic win. How crazy that would be. But I'm sure for the gaming tournaments, this will be a nightmare. So for my main pick, I had to think what will make this game hard hitting and top the Akuma DLC from the last game. Who can give the vibes of Akuma but more? And if you clicked on the thumbnail, you should already know it's Tony Tony Chopper. I mean, come on. With his rumble balls, you can have a different styles. And okay, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. But imagine if they really added Chopper. But for my final pick, I'm picking Ashra from the Ashra's Wrath series. If you don't know, this game comes from Capcom, and it's a revenge story that you have to take on gods that dwarf literal planets and also aliens. But this demigod can most definitely hold his own in the Tekken series. You can go a lot of ways when it comes to his fighting. Being trained by August, a god of greed, and look how that training got him. And I think having his rage or just be him pulling up to you with those many arms and also giving him a quick time command will be possible. As for the rivals, you tell me, who would you want Ashra to be rivals in Tekken 8? Could it be a lucky Chloe? And the reason why I'm picking Ashra is a couple of things. We've already seen a Street Fighter rep and I'm pretty sure we'll see more later down the line. And I feel like this would be better in the setting of Tekken 8 to have Ashra. And also, I really want to see more Ashra content. I'm still waiting for a new gen remake. Please, Capcom, I'm begging you. I need a full game. None of that DLC story stuff that you did back then. And for a stage, I'm going with the classic, that being the moon. And how would the rest of the cast fight in the moon? Well, don't think too much about it. And there you have it, people. My predictions for potential DLC fighters for the next Tekken game. What do y'all think? Would y'all play any of these characters if they got added in? I know I would. And are you getting Tekken 8? Let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to get this game. It's been a long time coming. And from the last DLC, I'm sure they're going crazy with this one. And if you want to see more character predictions videos, check out the last video I've made. I might make another one when the game drops. So with that, I hope you all have a good time. Until the next one, peace.